Hi everyone. Sharp dressed sports dress. Duct line, masculine front, racing stripes, no question, with this sharp device it goes to the front. With this conversion of a sports duress with Revolution Max 1250T engine, we present our brand new parts and thus many ideas on how to give the production model the decisive spin. As you are used to from us, made in best Thunderbike quality with the knowledge we have to offer as motorcyclists, designers and producers of high quality parts. As with our other custom bikes, we make here with specific measures the motorcycle even better, triple clamp, handlebars, rear, side license plate, cover and much more can be found in the Thunderbike Sportster S online shop. Everything made in Germany, from the idea to the finished component. Sharped with Thunderbike parts. The change on the front end is particularly noticeable. We brought everything closer together. It looks much more masculine now. Contributing to this new look is the fly screen, turn signals on the fork, mirrors moved down and handlebars lowered by means of new triple clamps with redesigned grips. Our triple clamps have a sporty superbike look at the same time through the recesses, yet still look noble. Exactly this look is continued, among other things, in the radiator shrouds. The Sportster S has with the Revolution Max a liquid-cooled engine, whose radiator fits with our covers visually outstanding in the bike. Our covers have a particularly classy appearance due to the first-time use of cross grooves. Under the rear fender we have hidden the minimal version of a turn signal tail light combination and moved the number plate to the side. With the new triple clamp, the choice of handlebars is greater. We manufacture the aluminium handlebar with an inch long mount and thinner ends in two widths, 740mm and 805mm. To match its diameter, we have developed new grips and footrests in the same design, which give a little more leaning freedom. With these two measures, the motorcycle can be wonderfully adapted to the respective needs of the rider. Design and dimensions of the original wheels fit well into our sports dress concept, so we limited ourselves to coating in a rich gold tone, which is also found in the sporty paint design, Ingo Cruiser, from the tank, spoiler and the two fenders. This provides an appropriate framework to beautifully present the modern engine including the original exhaust system. new generation sports to refined. What a high quality appearance. When this new model with the modern Revolution Max engine arrived in early summer, we got right to work and did our thing. As usual in our team, the ideas bubbled, how to tickle out of this already very good sporty base from Milwaukee still something. The name P-Type already hints at it, we tried out a few things on this sports dress 1250 for the first time, accordingly, prototypes are installed here. This means that not everything you see here in these pictures has gone into production exactly like this. Nevertheless, we did not want to deprive you of this beautiful conversion. Its owner Christian is rightly proud of his bike and travels a lot with it. The decisive measures, which make the machine even more crouched and cleaner, concern the front and the rear. The license plate is placed on the side and the turn signal tail light combination under the rear. The front turn signals are mounted as a quiggy on the fork and a small GRP fender covers the tire. A few body parts such as the windshield, timing belt guard, grips and pegs, and various covers round out the project. Complementing the gold-plated wheels, Cruiser Design's paint job in subtle grey with muted gold provides the high-quality appearance.
Sportster S, fully stepped up. After we developed our first custom parts around the concept of the new Sportster S and converted the first bikes with them, it was time for a new evolutionary stage. With the first Sportster S custom projects, we concentrated more on refining small components, now we wanted more change. So it was time to dig deeper into the custom box of tricks and take aim at the most important stem elements with new wheels in larger dimensions. New wheels were needed to give the bike a sportier appearance. The sporty appearance of our restyled Sportster S is matched by the significantly slimmer exhaust system from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. For the tires, we opted for a 200 tire at the rear and a 138-188 Marathon from Metzler at the front. In line with the larger wheel dimensions, the diameter of the front brake disc has also increased, from 320mm to 340mm. First, the proportions and design of the wheels were determined. To do this, we simply tried out several variants directly on the bike. In the end, we came to the conclusion that 18 inches at the rear and 21 inches at the front, in combination with our GT design, clearly give the bike a more agile sporty look. This hot appliance is the latest addition to the SPS series. The Sportster S with its modern chassis and extremely agile RevMax 1250T engine, which not only delivers a wide rev range thanks to variable timing, but also a whopping 122 horsepower peak power on the road, provides the perfect basis for super sport custom projects made by Thunderbike. In this case, our project not only received the sporty GT wheels in 6.00 to 18 inch at the rear and 3.50 to 21 inch at the front, but for the first time we also designed the front wheel of a Sportster S to accommodate two brake discs. 
In order to be able to fit two brake calipers, the upside down fork was given new milled brake caliper mounts and an additional radial brake caliper by Brembo. To improve the response behavior, the stanchions were also coated in gold DLC at the same time. This new front end with 21 inches front wheel and 340 mm brake discs not only looks sporty, the conversion also makes the bike more dynamic, as the narrower front tire significantly improves handling. The conversion of the brake system also makes a sporty contribution, with the two disc brakes doing their job with incredible ease and leaving nothing to be desired. To support this sporty concept, the bike was fitted with our relocated foot arrest system and triple clamps with flat handlebar mounts specially developed for the sports arrest. This means that the riding position now matches the new riding dynamics of our sports arrests 100%. This project is further enhanced by many finely milled parts from our range, radiator cowling, engine cover, pulley cover, shock absorber cover, headlight cowling, grips, indicators etc. are all from our SPS series. Discover our new Sportster S. We give the Sportster S a layout that lives up to its name. A gem in shiny bright brilliant blue, combined with sophisticated bronze colored accents that give this powerful bike an incomparable elegance. This reinterpretation not only impresses with its elegant color scheme, but also with the combination of beefy wheels and high quality performance parts from our production. The Sportster S is a sporty motorcycle in the literal sense with plenty of ink on the pen. This applies above all to the powerful engine, with which you can tear chunks out of the asphalt in the highest riding mode. In terms of layout, Harley has remained a little half-hearted, let's put it that way. This applies above all to the chopper-style forward-mounted footrest system. The official range of accessories still includes so-called mid-controls, but only we have a proper ear-mounted footrest system. You will also find it on this SPS 5, which is to a certain extent our Stage 1 version of the SPS 4, which we have already presented to you. The main difference to the SPS 4 is that we have kept the original tires and the single disc front brake. The bottom line is that it's a question of taste as to what you prefer, and of course also a question of money. Cornering enthusiasts are certainly better served by the narrower wheels of the SPS 4. If, on the other hand, you prefer the powerful appearance of the bobber wheels and like to celebrate acceleration orgies on straight stretches, you can choose our SPS 5. And because we also think the wheels are cool, we have developed a new, sleeker front fender for the original tires. The rear mounted footrests will now give it a better grip, and the pressure on the spirit leather saddle with its more pronounced edge will no longer cause it to slide backwards. However, we did not want to conceal our newly milled triple clamps for the SPS 5. This means that our narrower handlebars also work here. 
good against the wind, but beware, on country roads the speed limit is still 100 km per hour, and the temptations of our SPS 5 can quickly catapult you well beyond that. Small goodies, such as a milled lamp mask and milled radiator cover, eliminate the plastic look of the standard version. Micro indicators also contribute to this, and the handlebar levers show at first glance who did the customizing. Our cover for the drive pulley on the secondary drive also contributes to the fine tuning. As we said, plastic doesn't have to be used if it simply looks better in metal. And, of course, we gave the SPS5 another Jekyll and Hyde system. Two in one, that's a point of honor, because nobody can be happy for long with the two pipes of the original Sports to S in the current Zeitgeist, which is called performance. Thanks for watching.